So they leaving from Jacksonville, getting caught on their own ring camera. So now they own they they own ring camera is telling on them, y'all. We in 2024. Like Terrence Gaston Williams say, it's not impossible to get away with murder, but it damn near is. They got caught on Tesla car cameras, traffic lights, ring cameras, and surveillance cameras. This is how these people got caught. Not only they dumb mistakes, but this is how they got caught. Just to let you guys know, everything is digital in 2024. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Big bags, too. But anyway, chat, so the driver of the, of the car, the Hellcat that Fulio was in, he was shot eight times. So let's let's get his side of the story and what happened that night. Let's get into it. Yeah. So, I mean, as of late, before the June 23rd situation, was you and Fulio, like, kicking it on a day-to-day -day or? Down there, like, yeah. Uh, we went around each other. We was talking almost every day for sure. Yeah. And he plans this party in Tampa. I mean, is this something that you planned or you planned to go or was it last minute or? Nah, me going was last minute. I ain't, I ain't had no plans of going. Okay. So, I mean, going down there, what was the vibe like? I mean, I know y'all was with chicks and y'all had the Airbnb planned out. Like, what was the vibe like? Because. He seemed pretty happy on his live, like putting out the the flyers and popping his shit. Yeah, no, nah, like like I see, it wasn't planned. So I got down there like real, real late. But like when I got there, like, you feel me? I remember like Now I'm not gonna keep pausing it, but that's something that I do find weird. Like out of all them people that was around Fulio that night, none of them was like, yo, bro, why are you posting this? Why did you doing things differently that we don't normally see you do? So what's up with you? You good? Then again, he is the leader or the head of a lot of shit. So they probably just fanned out type shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know how yes man be. We ain't gonna say nothing against whatever. Whatever he wanna do, we doing it. So if he wanna post his location, fuck it. We all can post our location. If Fulio doing it, we can do it. But for somebody who been shot eight times, this nigga don't look hurt. This nigga don't look like anything wrong with him. Like, did he get shot? Is he trying to do this for clout? Is he going up? Because you don't look like no victim to me right now. You feel me? When I got up, he was walking outside. He seen me. He started smiling. Like, then I popped little five feeds out of the house. Like, he was happy to see me. So, like, you feel me? I was in a good mood. You feel me? My dog was in a good mood. He just wanted to celebrate his birthday. So, shit, everything was great. Yeah. And did you, did you make it to the Airbnb, the pool party? Or you came later than that? Um, I ain't gonna say there was really no party when I got there. No, it was like everybody was just chilling. And then he had to made everybody get up, take shots, and all that. Okay. That about it. So later that night, Fulio making me take shots. Y'all go to the after party, the club. Yeah. Okay. What was that like? What was how was y'all acting? Fulio was turning up and shit. Y'all was with the the females and shit. Yeah, we were chilling. I weren't really. Reasons why you should download Tango today. Effortless connections. Tango allows you to text, call, go live, and video. Yeah. And every play. I was just like on beat. I was just watching everything. I weren't really too much in tune with everything that was going on as far as like having fun. I was just on beat, like just watching everything. I ain't really no club type. Like, I don't like the club. Being outside of Jacksonville, being in Tampa, do, is that like a place where you kind of don't have to look over your shoulders and you can, you know, it's kind of like a vacation? Definitely. Definitely. I, I, I definitely felt a lot safer all the time because we hadn't been up like, before, you feel me? And it, it was great. So, you feel me? Definitely. 
So after the party, well, after the club, y'all head back. That's that is that's a detail to never leave out, man. They drove three hours to make sure they killed their target. They wanted him bad. Like, what did he do to make them niggas that mad? Back to to Holiday Inn, and uh, you know we seen it on the surveillance. Um, are you in the same car as Fulio? Yeah. Okay, so Fulio's in the passenger side. Are you? Be you're behind him. Nah, I was in the driver's seat. Okay, you were the driver. Yeah. Okay, can you take us through through that moment driving into the Holiday Inn, if you don't mind? Um, we weren't at the Holiday Inn. We were near the door to it, but. It was, I ain't really, like I said, we out of town, so I wasn't really thinking much. You feel me? So we get to the, we got to the hotel, um, went in. The rooms was already reserved, but I guess they had like a a glitch in the system or something, so they ain't let us get the room. So then he came back out to the car and we was just chilling, basically. Trying to figure out like where we was trying to go. Now, that's interesting as well, cause some for somebody who travels a lot, which I'm talking about myself, and like I think it's like between like on two out of two and five o'clock, hotel systems usually are down in the morning for like I forgot what the lady said, like some housekeeping lady she told me before, but she was like it's like um some system updating management management process they doing or something like that so it's usually harder to book you know hotel rooms in the wee hours of the morning so their systems are usually like shut down until the time window is usually up so maybe that's why they couldn't book the hotel room hmm. so basically y'all were just chilling outside the holiday inn when the whole glitch in the system but then I heard something else, though. It's like, you're out of town, and I understand you're out of town. This is coming from somebody. I'm a logical thinker, you know what I mean? And used to being coming from that environment. And it's like, you're out of town. Why does that, like, that's like not the the best time to start lacking that you out of town, like. I would think like people antennas would go up even more if they're out of town, but I guess that was the vacation spot for them. So they like, oh, we go to Tampa, don't nothing really happen. But for me and my my people out there around my team, it's like our antennas are up even more. Like the ruthlessness is like that much more crucial. In town, it's like, okay, I know this, I know this, I know what to do, what not to do. Out of town, you don't know where something might come from. But I would think Antennas would be, you know, higher. Yeah, we was just sitting in the car on our phone looking for another hotel. Okay. And how long was that for? Do you know? Probably, probably like six, seven minutes. Okay. And then that's when the fire, the, the shots are fired. Not right at that moment, no. Okay. But later that, a few moments later, that's when the shots go out? Yeah, probably like five minutes later. Mm. What's going through your mind at the time? As they were shooting? Yeah. Shit, I just want everybody to make it home. So on, on the surveillance, I could tell that, I could see that you like sped off. Yeah. And then it was two guys ahead, um, with their with their weapons. Um, and how many times were you shot? I got shot in my arm eight times. I got grazed in my head three times. Mm. Did you feel like you were gonna make it that night? Yeah, dog. 
What do you do next? Eleven shots. After the shooting. Eight in the arm, three in the grave, in the head. Um. After I stopped the car, I just you feel me. My first thought was to check on everybody, make sure everybody was good. Was Fulio responsive right there on the scene? Nah. Mm. Dang. And then what do you? What, what's next? The police come, or you know, are you, are you staying calm? Are you, are you angry? Like, what's your emotions like at that time? Shit, like. In the moment, I ain't even gonna say like, I ain't even gonna say like I was scared or nothing. You feel me? Like, cause it this ain't scared, the situation. Bullish, like, went. Bro. Let me say this for my viewers, bro. He was scared, bro. I don't give a damn who you is. You can be the hardest, the toughest, the most street, the most. I did twenty years in jail. What? Man, them bullets get to going. You get to hearing all type of crazy, weird sounds, and then the shots loud, and this, and then you see your homie running. You see this nigga hit. You see this going. Man, that shit's scary, bro. I hate when niggas be like, like they got no fear at all, bro. You was scared, bro. It's okay, bro. You're human. Cut it out. Fuck out of here. Nothing new to me. So it was just like, like I said, you feel me? I just had to handle it accordingly. Shit, I tried to. My first thought was to pull um full out of the car, but then I realized my arm was broke, and he wasn't responding. So, you feel me? In my mind, I'm just like, damn, you feel me? So, damn, this entire time, and then let's break it down on. You know, street talk politics. Let's say that that uh, I see my homie is. I can see where he got shot at. He's not moving. I can see he's not breathing. I can see he's not responding. I can see it's no point of I'm still gonna check, but it's no point of you know rushing to the hospital and trying this and trying that. I can see he's unresponsive. Like as many shots as my homie probably took then i'm shot up too it's like bro i can see if i'm barely making it out and he is unresponsive right now yeah it's probably it's it's probably over with you know so damn sad ending to this story man like but that really sums up you know of course whatever else we see that come out but that really sums it up fulio never made it out of that scene fulio may have been killed you know, instantly as the shot started ringing out and he wasn't that big of a guy. So it's like, that's a lot of blood to be losing. Like, yeah, you got some height, but weight wise, he probably won let's get the max a hundred and one hundred and eighty pounds. I you know, that's a lot of blood to be losing for somebody with a small body mass index. But yeah, man, I'm just a messenger. They wanted their targets, man. They hit their targets, and this is just what we get to see. You know, I guess Omerta was at 5'5". Five, five. Let's see what he do with his career. Let's see if, you know, people like, what's it, Lil Crocker and, and stuff like that, or people who was actually rocking with Fulio can keep the legacy alive, can, can keep what he was working for alive. His mom also did an interview. You know, I don't, I don't want to commentate or react to that because, you know, but yeah, I'm just a messenger. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole ordeal. I'm just a messenger. I'm just a nigga with an opinion. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe.